What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I found a really, really nice website with a ton of information about Legend of Mushroom and I want to share that with you. The link is gonna be in the description below but we are gonna have a look to it directly. So this is the website I was talking about. Normally it's written in Chinese, but you can use the Google translation as I did to select the language you want. So I decided to pick the English, of course. Uh, so uh, you can find some really cool information such as that one, for example. This is the calendar we had on the first month of the game on the, every server. And we have the calendar uh, for the second month. And this is gonna be apparently the same as for the first month. We are having the same events. So if we have a look to the calendar we had before for the first month, the prayer rush is going to be the next rush event we are going to have right after the relic rush. So in two days for the first servers of the game. So I hope that you save the ton of fruits for the statue. Then we are going to have the tech rush and the mount rush back, then the soul rush and the pal rush, the relic rush and the skill rush event. Probably the limited costume and artifacts are going to change and are going to be different and maybe we are going to have some other events. Uh, these are subject to change but apparently the rush events are going to remain the same. So the first time we had the prayer rush event, we had to spend 25k fruits at the statue to clear one round and we had four rounds. Then the tech rush event, 120k ore, but I don't know yet if it is going to remain the same because today we get way more so maybe for the second month it's going to be increased. Maybe the resource you are going to need are going to be doubled. But this is purely theoretical, I don't know anything about that. I just know that we are going to have the same events. On the Mount Rush event, 800 clock winders to clear one round. On the Soul Rush event, 5,000 cents per round. On the Pal Rush and Skill Rush events, 2,000 coupons. And the Relic Rush, 225k Relic Shards. You have some data about the parking we should have soon in the game, where you are going to have to park some cars to obtain some offline and online rewards as well. So you can place up to 4 cars and other players can also park there. So probably you are going to have to defeat them to keep the parking for you. So you are going to have a ranking system apparently with some extra rewards inside and you are going to get a ton of rewards as well, depending on the mounts you are going to place. Soon we are going to have a new dungeon, the Dark Trial, in which we are going to acquire some feathers, three different feathers in the game. We are going to have a more basic attack, more basic HP, I guess, more basic defense. We are going to be able to level them up to unlock some back decoration. And we are going to have another card, a monthly card, I guess, uh, with extra reward inside, probably more rewards, more drops uh, from the new dungeon. And these are the back decoration. Once all the feathers reach level 20, you are going to have the raccoon dog tail. Once it reaches level 60, the wolf tail and level 120, the fox tail. And then you are going to have some extra back decoration form, some wings and other stuff. And you are going to have some uh, another skills like the mount and the artifact and an attribute stat. Evasion ignored, 15%. Uh, physical strength, I think it means a physical, uh, it means a global attack, probably 10%. The same comment there and there. And so they look pretty cool, but I don't know if it is going to be really pay to win to obtain them or if you, it's going to be more accessible than the mounts. I hope at least that it's going to be more accessible than the artifacts because it's really expensive today. So if you check the dungeons, you have the Lamp Thief, you have the Dragon, that one to get some relics, that one to get some uh, Clock Winders, that one we are going to have some feathers inside and we are going to have another one, but I don't know what we are going to get inside, Seal Stone. So maybe some Awakening Seal Fragments to combine to uh, power up our class. I don't know yet. So then you have a ton of extra data on the games, everything you want to know about the souls, everything is written in there. You have the red souls, you have the immortal souls and their effects. You, you have a guide as well for beginners if you are uh, starting the game. So you have a ton of extra informations as well. You have every mount that are going to come in the future. Today we have that one. The fourth one is the blue ox. And then we are going to have that one. This number six is going to be the dragon. Then the frog, etc. And you have all the mounts that are skilled in the game. 
By the way, talking about the mounts and the artifacts, did you know that the stats given the mount effects are permanent? You don't need to equip the mount to have the stats. For example, look at that. That one, I have it, I'm gonna cancel it, so I'm not gonna use it. In fact, when you are equipping the mount, you are only getting the skill of the mount. This stat is permanent. Let's check my stats, for example. These are what I have, 1467 HP and 11500, okay? If I change my mount now, for example, I'm gonna pick that one. Normally, it increases my HP, okay? So if I go there, now I still have the same HP and the same defense. If I equip the other one, same comment. I have the same global attributes. And I guess that it's gonna be the same for the artifacts, but sadly, I have known and I have only two mounts. And this is probably how some players are getting a huge amount of attack, HP, defense, because they have all the mounts and all the artifacts. But the budget at the end of the day is really really expensive. You have a ton of extra information about the game on that website so make sure you have a look. The link is in the description of my video. That was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.